Insects, huh? Well, it is fall, I guess. Hard to believe I've already been here half a year. The festival used to seem so far off, and now it's just next month. <sighs> the past six months really have flown by. Huh? Is that you, Reed? Toa? Hey there! Haven't seen you out and about too much lately. I thought you were still stuck in today's student council meeting. <laughs> I'm surprised you heard about it. We just finished up a little while ago. So I thought that was a nice point to call it a day. I see. Did you guys discuss the Academy Festival? Yep. We've still got a lot we need to nail down before next month to keep the preparations running smoothly. There's enough to discuss that we're actually meeting again tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like work's really keeping you busy then. By the way, have you figured out what you'd like me to help you with tomorrow? I'll even take the tasks now if you have them handy. Oh, I usually sort those out before I go to bed. Hmm, I guess I could go over them now, but there's some shopping I really need to do. Sorry, is it okay if I get them to you tomorrow morning like usual? That's totally fine. to tell you, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to say it, but I want you and everyone from Class 7 to know how grateful I am for what you did at Corellia Fortress. Oh. It's fine, really. We've gotten plenty of rounds of thanks for it already. We just kind of ended up in the wrong place at the right time, and we were lucky the instructors were there, and... That doesn't change the fact that you saved my life. I wasn't on the same floor where the conference was being held. But if a shot from the railway guns had hit Orcus Tower, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Toa, I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I feel like I'm just kind of babbling on and repeating myself now. So I'll stop myself here. Huh. She's awfully conscientious, isn't she? Oh! You said you were on your way out to do some shopping, right? Is there a lot on your list? Well, a pretty good amount, I suppose. Oh, and I just remembered I need to pick up that stuff at the bookstore, too. Hmm. Then after I get everything I need at the general store, I might have to make a trip back here to drop it off. You could do that. Or I could come along with you and help carry all those bags. So how about it? No strings. I just feel like you could use a hand. Oh, oh no, there's no way I could drag you along on all my errands. I mean, sure, it'd be a big help, but I just feel so bad asking you to do it. Ugh, that makes it sound like deep down I secretly want you to come, and that's not... <laughs> well, if it eases your conscience, there's actually something I need your advice on. It's about my class and what we can do for the upcoming festival. should be everything. Wow, is it this late already? 
I guess the sun has started setting a little earlier lately. Still, I had no idea you came here often. Well, Mick is always able to get stuff you can't buy anywhere else. He's my go-to guy when there's something I can't get at the Academy store. Like fireworks to use in school events. I think we even asked him for a penguin costume once, and he actually got it. Yeah, it sounds like you have a pretty unique shopping list. Uh-huh. Wait! How did you end up with all those bags? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Here, give me some of those. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. You're carrying plenty as it is. Ugh, sorry, Rain. Well, how about we take a break in the rest area over there? I'll buy you a coffee or something. You wanted to ask me something about the Academy Festival too, right? Ooh, yeah, that does sound like a problem. Your class doesn't have enough people to do anything that involves large-scale equipment or decorations. You all could get together and run a little cafe without any problems, if you all wanted to do something like that. I'd thought about it, yeah. Still, if we're going to do something, I at least want it to be as impressive as what the other classes are doing. <laughs> Feeling a little competitive, aren't we, Rain? Well, you have enough people to put on a play or run a game tournament. But other first-year classes have already applied to do both of those. I see. I don't really want to copy an idea another class is already doing. Actually, didn't you, Crow, Angelica, and George use the stage for your exhibit last year? You... you heard about that? Um... how much do you know? Not too much. All of them seem to dance around the details. One thing they all agreed on, though, was that it was a real hit. Uh, me and my big mouth. You really want to know? If you don't mind telling me anyway. Who knows? It might help me think of something Class 7 could do. Well, if you insist, I can't turn down a chance to help a sweet, fledgling first year, especially after how much you help me. I'll reach down to my toes and muster every last bit of courage to tell you. Th thanks Was it some kind of traumatic experience or something? Well, in short, we put on a musical performance. A little concert of sorts, you could say. Wow, really? I wouldn't have expected that from you guys. So you can play an instrument then? <laughs> I am afraid not. That's how I got stuck being the singer. Angie, Crow, and George all played for the show, though. Wow, that actually sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. Hmm. If we put on a musical show, I'm sure Elliot would be a big help. So, what kind of music was it? Classical? Folk? Show tunes? Well, it's hard to describe, but it was passionate? Really modern. I'm not sure I get what you mean. <laughs> well, it's not really a genre that's caught on in the Empire yet. You definitely wouldn't hear it played in Heimdall's Opera House, that's for sure. Huh? Mm. Or do you have some free time tomorrow evening? If you can't come until after you're done exploring the old schoolhouse, that's okay with me. Tomorrow evening? Yeah, I should be free. Should I meet you in the student council room? Oh no, can you go to the computer room in the main school building? Sure thing. Does this have something to do with the concert you held last year? <laughs> You'll just have to find out tomorrow night. Anyway, sorry to keep asking favors of you, but... Would you mind coming to the lower class dormitory with me? If we stay out here much longer, we're going to miss dinner at the dorms. <laughs> you have a point. But really, I'm fine with all the bags. Just leave the heavy lifting to me. <sighs> You're so stubborn.